We happen to be hardwired to remember some of the most negative things versus the positive. This is like when someone pays a compliment and it's harder to just say thank you than it is to say yeah, but, and then minimize the compliment perhaps. We just end up tending to remember the things that are negative versus positive. So in this section, we're talking about ways to think about the good things and accentuate those to bounce back and build resilience. One of the ways that we can best impact our resilience and our overall well-being is to capture three good things just before we go to bed at night. They can be as simple as thinking about something they were grateful for during the day, or something that went well. Research tells us that what we review the last few hours before we go to sleep can have some of the most impact on us. We know that it's most effective if it's written down and if it's done just before you go to bed. But there are other ways to do this intervention and have it be very meaningful. In the workplace, you might think about putting a poster and having people write a good thing or two that they experienced in that moment. You might think about starting meetings that way and having a habit of announcing one or two good things for people individually or as the team as you develop some of these routines to have some positive highlights in what you're doing every day. In your family, you can talk about it at the dinner table. What are some good things that happened today? And focusing on the good to spread it across work and personal lives. We hope this is a way you can bring it to your everyday.